Okay, this section's on inequalities. So if you remember a greater than or less than, you're going to have a closed dot. And then greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, you're going to have an open dot. And when you divide or multiply by a negative, then you have to switch the inequality. So this, I know this is poor quality again, but if you solve for z, there's a z right there, it's you subtract 4 from each side, this cancels out, you'll have negative 5z greater than or equal to negative 2. So to solve, you divide both sides by negative 5. And when you divide the inequality by a negative, the greater than or equal to changes to a less than or equal to, and you have two-fifths over here. So when I graph this, it's going to be a closed dot at two-fifths, and it's all numbers that are less than two-fifths are going this way. And then number 42, I'm going to simplify everything. I'm going to do the distributive property first. So it's 10 minus 6x less than x minus 12 plus 4x. So I have 10 minus 6x less than 5x minus 12. And then I'm going to get my numbers on one side. And my x is on the other. So I have negative 11x less than negative 22. I'm going to divide both sides by negative 11. x greater than 2. So you're going to have an open dot at 2. And you're going to shade to the right. And then number 43... You could either distribute, but um, I'm going to actually, yeah, I'm going to actually multiply both sides by 10. So if I multiply both sides by 10, if I multiply 0.3 by 10, this is 3 tenths times this. So I only have to multiply 10 by, I only have to multiply 0.3 by 10. I don't need to multiply each of these by 10. Same with the 1 half. So it's going to be 3 times y minus 2 greater than 10 divided by 2 is 5, 5 parentheses 6 minus y. So in this case, I dropped, I lost my fraction and decimal. So now I can go through and distribute. So I'm going to have 3y minus 6 greater than 30 minus 5y. So I'm going to get my y's together. And then I'm going to get my number, my constant. So I'll have negative 36 less than negative 8y. So I divide both sides by negative 8. This cancels out. So it's y. So this, this direction changes. See how it's y is less than this number, which is 4.2. Now it's going to be y is greater than. 4.2, or 4 point, not 4.2, but 4.5. So 4.5. So I'm going to make an open dot at 4.5, shaded to the right. Okay, more. So now these are compound inequalities. So for one like this, I'm going to solve for x. Whatever I do to solve for x, I'm going to do on all these two sides as well. So first I would subtract 9, so I'm going to do it on all three sides. So I have negative 4 is less than or equal to negative 4x, less than or equal to 4. So I divide both sides by negative 4. So this is going to be 1. Now this changes because I divided by a negative. Now, this, you don't want to write your, your notation going this way. So I'm going to switch it and write it this way. And then 45, oh I need to graph each too. So this is a graph of negative 1 closed dot, 1 closed dot, and shaded in between. X is in between, I'm shading in between. And number 45, I'm going to, it's an or problem, so you just, there's two different inequalities. So I divide this 
So it's x is less than or equal to 1.5 because 3 halves is 1.5. Or x is greater than 6. So I'm going to make an open dot at 6. Going this way. And I have a closed dot at 1.5 going less than or equal to. So an or, they go out. In this one, I'm going to solve each one of these separately. So it's y is greater than one third. In this, I'm going to get my y's together. And I'm going to add 5 to the other side. So y is less than one third. It's going to be open dot. And then y is greater than or equal to 5 thirds going to be a closed dot. And the last two have to do with absolute value and inequalities. So if you are solving and you have an absolute value isolated and it's less than. So let's pretend that you get down to something like this. Absolute value is less than. You're going to take, so the distance is less than 5. So the distance could be anywhere, or the number could be anywhere between negative 5 and 5. So if you have an absolute value less than, you're going to put the whatever is in the absolute value between the negative and the positive, and the symbols needs to go this way. If you have an absolute value that's greater than x, the distance is greater than x, so the distance could be, so the x could be greater than 5 or x could be less than negative 5. So let's look at this in a number line. If you have the number 0, if you're at if you're at 0 and the distance is less than 5, then you could go all the way up to here. You could go all the way back this way. If the distance is greater than 5, you could start at 5 and go that way. You could start at negative 5 and go that way. So that's how this one you get an in-between graph. And this one you get an or graph. So first what you need to do is you do need to solve and get the absolute value by itself. So in this case you're going to take, this is a less than, so you're going to take 3x minus 2 and write it in between 3 and negative 3. So negative 1 less than or equal to 3x less than or equal to 5. Then divide everything through by 3, so negative 1 third less than or equal to x, less than or equal to 5 thirds. So I'm going to shade in between and make these closed dots. And then 52, I would, so you can't do the distributor property. Your common mistake is for people to do the distributor property, but you need to get the absolute value by itself. So this is 4 times this quantity, so I'm going to divide both sides by 4. So I have a greater than, so I'm going to do y minus 9 is greater than 9, or y minus 9 is less than, I change this, the direction of the inequality, a negative 9. So I'm going to have y is greater than 18, or y is less than 0.